So I had another question. Um, someone wanted to know, why is keto bad? Okay, so we're going to talk about that. So what is keto? Keto is basically fat burning. So I asked this person, is fat burning bad? Well, I guess if you're completely skin and bones and you have absolutely no fat in your body, of course, maybe it would be bad for that person. But fat burning, I don't think it's that bad, is it? I mean, it's probably good for you. Keto is bad if you own a junk food company because we're recommending not to consume the refined carbohydrates and the junk foods. But I do want to differentiate keto from healthy keto, okay? Because just because someone does keto doesn't mean it's 100% healthy. Now, the health comes in when you're lowering your carbs and you're lowering your insulin. That's very, very healthy and it's going to help your health. We want to make sure that the ingredients that you do on a ketogenic plan are super healthy. Number one, to provide the nutrients and also to avoid the bad things. Because keto by itself is a low carb diet, moderate protein, higher fat. To get into ketosis, you just need to lower your carbs. But generally speaking, when you do a ketogenic plan, uh, what's not talked about is the quality of the fats. You can basically use hydrogenated oils. You can use GML fats and oils. You can use processed uh, grain-fed animal products. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to do a healthy version of keto to make it even better. But the fact that you are lowering your carbs is a huge uh, change in the right direction. You are going to improve your health just from that alone. Okay, so now let's talk about um, ketoacidosis. This is a condition which is dangerous. It's very rare. And it's a situation where you're running out of insulin and you're burning fat to such a degree where your pH becomes so acidic in the blood that it becomes dangerous. This is only going to happen in certain circumstances. Uh, in certain situations where you're diabetic type 1 and you're not controlling your blood sugars, you're just ignoring them. Or if you have a very severe infection, an injury, surgery, or a much more serious illness. If you're generally healthy and you're doing a healthy version of ketosis, you are not going to have this happen to you. You're going to get into ketosis, but your pH is not going to come anywhere near the danger zone. And I've put a link down below to help you understand this condition a little bit more, and I highly suggest that you watch it. All right, in summary, is keto bad? Well, no, it's not bad. Fat burning is a good thing. All right, see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.